Without Christ, without church, um, the struggles will take you over out here. Um, your hope, people are walking around without hope. And without Christ, without the gospel, it's just kind of impossible to really transform communities like ours. You know, from being from South Haven, looking from the outside in, uh, you know, I saw something different. And God was just, just showing me at that time that he said, son, it doesn't matter if you're down there in South Haven or you're in Binghamton. As long as you got me, everything else is gonna be fine. I can remember the first year we were here, I was like, I don't think they want, they don't, they don't want the message. They don't want to hear about you. And if they do, you really got to change my heart to see them the way you do. You hear their stories and you wonder to yourself, you know, would I even be able to, you know, maintain a household after going through what some of them have been through? My son came to know the Lord right here in his church. I never forget that. But the next day, he was shot and killed. People were there for me. This church was there for me and all my other sisters in Christ. I just had God had used them just to depend. They was my, like my comfort, you know, being there for me that time. Once you spend some time here, once you understand about the people that are here, once you understand about that dope dealer that's on the corner of the street or that gang member is just as normal as you and I, you know, when they're not selling drugs or when they're not gang banging, you know, they can uh, hold conversations, they can laugh, they watch TV which that's why we're here to help them to see, no, there's a better way. I'm seeing him praying through things, never wavering. And so it's those things of seeing just the consistency. I'm able to watch and I've learned a ton. I mean, I've just learned a ton about what it means to, to follow Jesus and to deal with stuff when it comes and to stay the course. Their needs are, are so great. It's like, I, I give this example. It's like if I was pulling a tire, 200 pound tire, right? And I'm doing all I can to pull this tire. And say if I look behind me, right? And I see where I need to get to. And I see where I am. That is discouraging. But if I got another brother or another mm -hmm. sister to come alongside of me, man, and, and grab that rope, see, that's encouraging. People gotta get in the fight, man.